Welcome. These are the European Championships 20, 2020 edition. This is the playoff semi final between Bulgaria and Hungary. We're in Path A today. Path D has been concluded with uh, Belarus shocking everyone. It wasn't Kosovo that got through, but now we've got another path to short. To sort, I apologise there. So, the four teams involved are Bulgaria, Hungary, Iceland, and Romania. Most bookies would have one of the second Thai teams to get through, either Iceland or Romania. But for one of these two, Bulgaria or Hungary, they've got the home advantage. The winner of tonight will host the final. The same rules apply, extra time and penalties are here if we need them. Hungary, of course, always have got such proud and huge expectations due to their past glory years. No one can forget how important Hungary of the 50s was. They'll always be remembered as one of the greatest sides never to have won the World Cup in 1954. The likes of Pushkas will never be forgotten by that nation. For Bulgaria, they've got a chance. They didn't have a very successful qualifying campaign in the group stage, but the great thing about the playoffs is they've got a second chance here. And all they've got to do is win two games, and it doesn't matter how the group stage went, they'll still have a place in Euro 2020. So, everything to play for as always. Bulgaria, of course, have had success in the past themselves. They were semi-finalists of the 1994 World Cup. Famous to beat Germany 2-1. They're opting for a 4-2-3-1 formation, as are Hungary. So it could be a question of who can impose themselves most on the game. It's probably going to be a cagey affair, but the playoff games have never had a goal to join any of them. So here's hoping that that's good old tradition carries on tonight and for the rest of the playoffs in the 2020 edition. But without further ado, let's have the kickoff. It looks like it's going to be Bulgaria who kick us off. And it is, and this is kickoff, and here we go. And uh, I must say, it's Bulgaria here, Popov again on the right. And he's even got a man behind him if he needs it. He's going to go it alone, so he goes back to the centre. It's a long-range effort, and it's well held by the Hungarian in goal. By Bulgarian shirts. As you can see, look at that, Bulgaria dominating the possession. Really are going for it tonight. Got every intention of being in that tournament. They're not opting to cross it. They're trying to keep it lower, it seems. Oh, it's a mess up there at the back, and Hungary could break from that. Let's see how they play it. That's a fantastic ball, and Nagy's in. He's one-on-one -on -one here. He's got the chance to put his nation ahead. Oh, no. He's put it wide. Well, that's the counter-attack that Hungary will be looking for. And perhaps this is where you'd rather it fell to a striker than your winger, but oh, he should be burying it, and he's just dragged it wide. Chance, though, for Hungary. Not, not the best pass, but he did manage to retain it. And that's a fantastic ball. What vision! They're in here! Oh, it's saved. In front of their, their own fans. He's beating his man with a much ease there. He's in it! Oh, no! Another chance goes begging in this game, and this time it's for Bulgaria. The keeper was caught in no man's land. A brilliant little cross this was. Some balls of real quality for Bulgaria, and that one, well, the keeper was caught and off his line, but if that's goalward, then it would have been 1-0. That's a good little switch ball. It's Rostov. Keeps hold of it because it's a pop-off. Good save. Well, it's coming. It's certainly coming for Bulgaria. Well, this is the key difference. Is Bulgaria look a lot more calmer on the ball, and their uh, long passes, one might say, have been a lot more successful, but they may have just caught the defence out here. Here come Hungary. He's got an option if he needs it. They're in the box here, Hungary. It's a good little ball. It's in. Yes! Yes for Hungary! They've been on the back foot, they've been under the cosh. But a brilliant bit of counter-attacking play, a bit of quality at last for Hungary. And they've taken the lead. 
Well, that keeper, he deserves immense credit. He's made some big saves. Some big, big saves. And Hungary with their first real bit of quality. When they had possession for an elongated period and they finally made use of it. And right now they're heading for the playoff final. Just look at this here. A lovely bit of one-two. They didn't panic. And look at this. In the box and a lovely little ball. And the striker, well, he just nods it in. Keeper had no real chance. Real quality here from Hungary. We mentioned 1954. And that's why they love to play that kind of football. Living up to high standards. And congratulations to them. But now they've got to see if they can hold out. Bulgaria will come again. Hungary have possession. They opt for long. There's a lot of spaces now in that back line for Bulgaria. Here's the goal scorer. Can he turn creator? It's a good little ball. He's still got it. He's won it! Well, Bulgaria were caught. And Hungary are in the final. And it's the old adage. You've got to take your chances when they come to you. Because if you don't, you will unfortunately be made to pay all the credit to Hungary though they they huffed and puffed into Bulgaria but Hungary stood strong and they've uh, they've seen just re just rewards for their efforts and they will host the playoff final against either Iceland or Romania time is pretty much up for them might have one final crack at it though they whip it in. Ooh, well caught from the goalkeeper. But that will be that. The whistle will surely come here. It does. And Hungary have made a booking for the playoff final. Well, they were on the back foot for most of tonight, but they had two real golden chances. Three if you count the one in the first half. And they are through to the playoff final, which they will host. Congratulations to Hungary. Welcome. We are in uh, Iceland for tonight's game against Romania in this playoff semi final. The winner tonight will play Hungary. Hungary have played some fantastic counter attacking football and managed to snatch a 2 0 win against Bulgaria. And now we've got the two sides, which are, are the favourites to get through Parfait if you go by the bookies. Got some real quality players on both sides who play for high profile clubs. Here is the Romanian side. You may recognise Ines Hadji. There he is, of course, plays for Rangers in uh, Glasgow. But for Romania, high hopes. Who can forget when they uh, beat England in the 1998 World Cup group stage and afterwards? The entire team dyed their hair blonde as a show of team spirit. It may need that togetherness and team spirit to get through tonight. Of course, the Iceland team, well, England. England fans need no reminder of this team. Of course, the huge humiliation that came back in the 2016 European Championships. I think it's fair to say we may have a few Romanian fans watching tonight who are English because of that. It's a similar setup for both sides, much like with Iceland, much with Hungary, Hung Hungary and Bulgaria, I must say, sorry. 4 2 3 1 seems to be the order of the day. But let's see how they do tonight. It's a huge game. Who will be travelling to Hungary for the playoff final? Will it be Iceland or Romania? I expect real quality tonight, I must say. Very excited by this one. There's high expectations on these two teams. Romania going forward early doors. I'll tell you what, he's in his push cut here. He may have a chance. Well, he did have a chance. And I thought Hadji was going to turn it in, but Iceland survived that one. Here's Sigurdsson. Not the main Sigurdsson, but he's one of them. We need to get in the box here. And they're in Iceland. Finberg, oh, saved and off the post. Well, the keeper turned it onto his own post and he managed to catch it again. And in terms of chances on goal, it's 1-1 one, one each. And that's uh, very key for them. Nobody wants to be caught on the break. I'm sure both of them watched the Hungary and Bulgaria game and saw just how good Hungary were at countering back. And there was a mix-up there for Iceland. The keeper was out, and he is having a word with his centre-back there. 
for getting in the way and a needless corner good chance for Romania this Pushkas he wins, wins the header they still have it Romania not quite what they wanted from the corner but they have it but here come Iceland how quick can Romania get back here look at that Romania are certainly not overly committing here here's Gilfie Sigurdsson though he has opened up Romania it's Gunnarsson good ball good header oh side netting can Romania make one of these corners count it's swung in oh what a save well they're looking dangerous at set pieces it's a routine stop in truth for the goalkeeper but he does make it yeah I think that's what you call a save for the cameras palms it away with one hand and Romania corner number three it's another one that's whipped in dangerously Iceland do get this one away though this is some good looking football from Iceland need to try and get their mojo back they uh, started to lose it at the end of the first half oh, no. oh well they've won themselves a corner it looked like such a harmless ball but next thing you know Romania is scrambling to get rid of it first corner for Iceland can they make it count they can Iceland take the lead well it's Goodmanson I can't really say it was coming because Romania were the one having the chances and Iceland from a set piece that is what will disappoint Romania they looked quite defensively solid at times and it's gone from Romania who were very much on the verge of taking the lead from a corner to now being behind just uh, admire this delivery it's fantastic to be fair and that's a perfect header unlike the Romanian one which was straight at the keeper that's right in the corner and the, ho the home nation have the lead high mental capacity and here comes Pushkas good strike oh my goodness well I tell you what Romania they're not going to go out without a fight that's for certain good little play there here's Gunnarsson plays it to Gilfie Sigurdsson the striker turns his man oh it's 2-0 real quality and Iceland deliver and Romanian hearts are broken well I said that Romania won't go down without a fight and I still believe that to be true but they've got a mountain to climb now Gilfie Sigurdsson with the assist it's a great little turn and he had two Romanian players on him I believe Hadji came into support but it wasn't enough fantastic strike and Iceland look like they've produced two real moments of quality and they're going to be going to the playoff final well Romania make a change just goes to show though when you don't defend a set piece like that and your head goes for just that split second your campaign is just left in ruins it's a good cross this one and push cast off the crossbar it's in it's not game over just yet well just as I was saying Romania were undone I said they wouldn't give up without a fight and they've shown that spirit here absolutely out of nothing Iceland just didn't put any real pressure on him gets the cross in push cast should score with a header he doesn't and Romania get a bit of luck at last you can't say they don't deserve that to retrieve it here the right back Pushkas has had an impact up top there and he's won a header yet again oh it's poor play from Romania they need to be very composed on the ball now oh what a turn that is and he's in here could seal it and they're back with a two goal advantage and just as I was saying Romania were looking like they were going to mount a fight back it could already be over so quickly one lapse in concentration in the middle but take nothing away from this he completely does his man fools him with a bit of skill and the finish is as cool as you want from your striker well we wanted goals we've got goals look at this just leaves the ball and he spun his man and at that point it was game over ice in his veins as he took that try again with another comeback that's a fantastic little ball that he needs to get the cross in though he does it's push cast and it's over the bar aggressive than they already are being and 
Can he turn his man here? He's got the option on the left. He ups with a long range effort. Good save. To look past Iceland being the favourite if they do get to the final. Pushkat, he held onto it really well. And they've won a free kick here. This could be everything right now. Oh, it's tell you what, it's getting very heated right now. Passions are flaring up. Pushkas clearly not happy with something. And you can see why. I mean, he is elbowed in the back there and he's just brought down after he's got rid of it. But the best way to make your opponent pay is with a free kick like this. It's gone in! Oh, the deflection! We're in for a grandstand finish, all right. Well, Romania, they will not lie down. Look at this, it took a little clip. And I think that's what helped him beat the goalkeeper, but he won't care. Fantastic technique and Romania, incredibly, are not out of this. Bodies coming forward. He's got it in the box. They still have it here. Look, Rage Effort. Oh, what a save. They've cut a corner. Oh, have you ever seen anything like this? And there were many that said the European playoffs could be a bit boring. Well, those people were surely wrong. This is the chance for Romania. A corner kick, their fourth one of the night. The other three weren't bad. And this time Iceland do get it clear. Romania will keep the bodies up top though. It's a good ball. It's cleared by the keeper. It's only as far for Romania. Chance. They've done it. It's a hat trick. Three of the best. He's made Iceland pay. And look at those limbs. Look at those scenes. Unbelievable. Well, I said Iceland had sealed it when they went 2-0 up. I then said Iceland had sealed it when they went 3-1 up. How wrong am I? Romania will not lie down. Well, they took the shot. It only went as far as another player, though. And look at those Iceland players. They can't believe it. They thought they'd won it. They surely must have done. And Romania, look, they just will not lie down. And to be honest, I only see one team winning it now. Gantz, is he going to blow the whistle now? He is, wow. What a half of football. It was nil-nil at half time. I don't know what the manager said, but whatever it is, it's paid off. And we are heading for extra time. Tell you what, don't you just love football at times? It's a chance here brewing for Romania. They're in the box, they're in the box, they've done it! I cannot believe it! Maxim may have won it! And look at this! Everyone's off on the bench! Well, there may be a UEFA fine coming for that, but I do not think they'll care in the slightest. Look at that scoreline! I said they were looking fresher than Iceland. And I may just be right. I think Iceland have been mentally battered by losing that lead of 3-1. They had all the time in the world they needed. And now it's Romania's turn to perhaps sit back. Can Iceland do what Romania have done here tonight? I'm not so sure. Well, here comes the change for Iceland. Maxim, surely all they have to do is head for the corner flag if he can. Iceland can't get it back. The tie is almost over. Romania come forward perhaps for one last chance. One last attack coming. The whistle's going to come. It's there. Wow. What an incredible playoff tie that was. Romania were dead and buried twice in that game. And somehow they've won it. Romania will travel to Hungary. And I can't wait for that game. It's going to be absolutely thrilling. Here we are. Thank you for joining me. We are in Hungary for this, I'm sure to be, epic encounter between Hungary and Romania. This is for a place in the European Championships 2020. 
it's a huge opportunity for one of these two sides. It almost feels a bit unfair for one of these sides not to make it, but that's just the way it goes. If remember, if Romania were to qualify tonight, they would go into Group C alongside Netherlands, Ukraine and Austria. And that would mean that Belarus would go into Group F alongside Portugal, France and Germany. I've got a feeling that Belarus will be back backing Hungary tonight, as that would change their path to Group C with Netherlands, Ukraine and Austria. Well, there are 21 teams in the European Championship so far out of 24. Romania stunned us all with that 4-3 epic comeback. And Hungary were very impressive. Despite being on the cap, being on the back foot against Bulgaria, they came with two quality goals to secure their place here tonight. As always, extra time and penalties are here if we need them. And with two sides like this with real true mental strength. You really feel that we could go all the way tonight. Well, path D, some may say, was not quite as action-packed as they would have liked in terms of the goals. Path A has certainly, certainly delivered. Well, those were the national anthems. Two very proud nations here tonight. And there is the Hungary side. Hungary will be hoping that that extra day's rest and not having to go to extra time will have a big impact. I wonder how this one is going to play, because both sides, more so Hungary than Romania, played on the counter-attack. Romania, Maxim gets the start. No real huge surprise after his late winner in extra time against Iceland. Well, we're ready. And so are Hungary and Romania. As Hungary will kick us off playing in red. Romania, as always, in yellow. Can Hungary have an immediate impact here? The cross is short, but they keep hold of it. And good save from Romania. Well, Romania nearly caught out of the set piece again. As they take it forward. Good play, good back heel. Romania still don't have it. They're being completely outplayed here. Hungary will surely get the cross in sooner rather than later. They've still got it. Romania finally get the ball back, but they've immediately lost it. You feel like the goal is coming for Hungary. The header. Well, just glanced wide. It's all Hungary. The thing is, Romania sitting very deep. It's going to be hard to uh, penetrate it, you would feel. Crosses feel like the right way to go. It's bounced perfectly for him. It's a fantastic save. But... Uh, to them, they don't seem to really care. They just want to be there. Romania seem absent. They seem like they're here for a training session. Another chance coming up here. This could be the one. Oh. Yeah, they're going to even get one goal here. Oh, they try the offside trap. It's been broken. Hungary are surely in. Oh, no. And this could be Hungary's chance. It's a long way out. Must be a good 35 yards. He goes for the strike. <gasps> Oh my word, that would have been one way to win it. That's a fantastic strike, but the save is even better. They've got it here on the left. It comes Romania. This is the first time they've really got forward. It's not a good ball. It is blocked. Romania will retrieve it. One minute added on. It's crossed in. They couldn't, could they? Oh! Pushkas almost won it. But we will head for extra time. Here comes Pushkas. Haji. Good bit of play this. Hadji, they couldn't, could they? Oh! Well, there's a shot. It took 118 minutes for Romania. History is made, it's a penalty shootout. It's a goalless draw in the playoff final. The first ever. And Romania have not really turned up for this, but it doesn't matter now, it's all a lottery. It would be absolutely sickening for Hungary to go out on this one, but... That is football sometimes. We'll see. Can they do it? Romania have been absolutely poor tonight, but their goalkeeper's been terrific, and I feel like he just feels like he's written to be a hero. But let's see how Romania do. Hungary with the first penalty. I think most watching will want Hungary to win this. 
can they do it on the penalties in front of the Romanian fans? The first one steps up. It's a slow run up. That's a perfect penalty. And I think he just said something to the Romanian goalkeeper. Certainly no love lost between these two. Here come Romania. Can they hit the back of the net? It's Pushkas. Carrying the injury. It's saved. Well, I said he wasn't 100% fit. And Romania looked like... I mean, the Hungarian keeper can't even watch. That's how nerve-wracking it is. Can the Romanian goalkeeper be a hero? He's kept so much out tonight. He doesn't stop that one. That is a perfect penalty. Hungary, they look like they're destined for the Euros right now. Well, it's Maxim. That's a poor pen, and I tell you what, Romania, it's desperate. I think that that game against Iceland took too much out of them. Hungary could really, really put on the pressure now. Oh, it's saved! What a super save, and the goalkeeper at last. It's Ines Hadji, he has to score this. He simply has to. Oh, he does, that's a penalty. And Romania may just have a chance at redemption. It needs another save or a miss. Slow run up. It's saved! The keeper's a hero. Romania, well, they came back against Iceland. Oh, it's missed! And Hungary have the chance. This is it. Pat Kai can become a hero. Are they heading for the European Championships? They've certainly deserved it. On the balance of play. Oh, no! Well, Romania. They never seem to lie down. They have to score to stay in it. Can he do it? The weight of those fans behind him. It's saved! Hungary are in the playoffs. I'm sorry, they're in the European Championships. They've won the playoffs. And Hungary, who were unfancied, have done it. They will go to play Portugal, France and Germany. And Romania, despite the comeback against Iceland, will not be taking part in the Euros. That is path A sorted. There are only two left now. And you have to say on the balance of play, they really did deserve it, Hungary. Romania had one shot, and that was until the 118th minute. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you for path B and C.